in terms of prioritizing tasks in your schedule, um, how have you come up with creating these habits? Like what, where did you sort of fit it all in? Uh, how do you juggle it? Like you said, with university and work, yeah. there must be times. Uh, we we're talking about roadblocks a little bit earlier, which it sounds like you're, you're pretty organized. Um, how have you sort of gone with those days where maybe your energy is a bit low, perhaps, or you're, or you're mentally just feeling a bit off? Do you do anything different to your schedule to to re-energize yourself for the next day or for the upcoming session in the afternoon, uh, or is it a matter of just uh, sticking to the schedule and sticking to your to your uh, to your program and just letting the energy come when it needs to? Um, so when I'm feeling down or lethargic or like tired, as you said, um, sometimes I might have a like 30, 40 minute nap in the afternoon just to rejuvenate myself. Otherwise, like usually if it's a gym session or something, I'll push through it and just give it my all. And then I realize at night I can rest and get through it. So we must go through that. And as you've taught me, nutrition plays a big role. Like the more I fuel myself properly and appropriately, like I feel much better to train and that type of stuff. So like your nutrition has really helped. And on the days I do feel a bit down and I don't have football training, I might go to the sauna, just sit in there, relax in there, go in the spa walk up and down the pool or do a little bit of swimming just like that type of stuff and I, I felt like that's really helped especially up here i can go to the beach it's not spa so that stuff will definitely help what about um specific skills or resources you've mentioned some mentors that have helped yeah. you along the way yeah. um, is there other accounts that you like to look on whether it be youtube accounts instagram handles to get inspiration um to help i guess with the craft side of things or the tactical yeah. side of things um or it could just be um, more of the a lifestyle and training side of things. Yeah, um, a big thing I found is um, before a lot of my games, I actually watch go on YouTube and watch Sirioli highlights. So I like to base my game around him, knowing that similar type of plays. I like to, as a small forward, he was a small forward. I, I really like watch his highlights. And even up to that, I never get bored of them. I still keep watching them, seeing how he moves, seeing how he takes on tackles, makes tackles, chases, like that type of stuff. Like I really like to implement those in my game. And our current era now watching Cosy Pickett, he really goes about it well. Just the way he moves and tackles, chases, jumps, I, I really aspire the things he does. For those that are uh, wanting to specialise in that position as well, looking back over the last five years, what have you learnt the most in terms of what's really important for a small forward and maybe uh, what maybe five years ago you thought was really important, both physically but also tactically, technically? Yeah. Uh, perhaps, but it isn't as important as you thought as it might be. Yeah, so um, obviously we get taught that um, goals is not important. And even up to today, I felt like it's really important because sometimes if you be goal hungry, then you can sacrifice a goal and then no, it could be a point and the other team can get it the other way. So I've really learned that helping your team score, whether it's assisting, whether it's chasing, chasing is a big thing, locking the ball down before the 50. Uh, anything that can contribute to a goal, I've really found that is really important. I've been taught that, especially by Dale, he keeps telling me like every time that it's not all about goals, it's not all about goals, the chases, the tackles, like those things really stand out. From a physical point of view, like um, as we mentioned, you've been on the program for two years. What are, for someone that's thinking about joining the program, what are some of the results that you've noticed um, since being on our both strength and power program, but also the conditioning side of things? Yeah, um, obviously being, um, I had a smaller frame when I first met you. So obviously since you, you've helped me build up my body, whether it's like my body armor, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's helped and improved dramatically. So a lot more body armor, so I'm able to absorb a, a hit or even give a hit. So that's really been great. Um, conditioning point of view, you really helped me get my 2K down. So that's really coming down as well now. And I've been working on it a lot through these pre-seasons. So that's getting down. If I want to play in a midfield or, wing I have the aerobic capacity to do so since being a I haven't really played mid and my juniors have um been a small forward pretty much all of it. So um being able to do the conditioning well it's it's really helping um, my game as well from an aerobic point of view. For those that want to improve their first three steps and their agility, what have you found has been some effective uh whether it be running drills or things you can do in the gym or yeah. Uh, stretching exercises talk us through how to improve your yeah. what have you found effective to improve your power in your first three steps yeah so obviously i learned it from you dylan and caleb as well and we've um, been doing the outside sessions i've been feeling the a skips and the b skips and those type of running techniques have really helped or the power of the one two three steps they've really helped as well like being a naturally fast and 
agile and great acceleration type of player. Um, I've just been sharpening that. So if I can really like make that a weapon in my game, it can be really damaging as well. So yeah, I've learned a lot of those t- type of tips and I like to do that either if it's before training, whether it's in the gym or like a quick one, two, three steps in the gym. It could be like with a band or something. It's, it's really helped a lot.